Hi, today we are going to see the basics of fact tables. What are fact tables? Fact tables usually contain the measures related to a process or event, which are analyzed by various dimension attributes contained in the dimension tables. We already told you that measurement and context are the foundations of the dimensional design. Facts that means the numeric measures and context is the textual descriptor. Normally in business activities there are wide variety of events will occur. For example, the retail industry event may be recording of a sale of a product at cash register at store. If it is a mortgage industry, an event might be the origination of loan. Event is nothing but business process. For example, in retail industry, the numeric measures are quantity and amount of the sale. Context is nothing but the date of the sale, product details, the customer details, store name, etc. When the data is extracted from the operational system, it will be loaded into the data warehouse as facts and dimensions. That means the numeric measures will go into the facts and the corresponding context will go into the dimensions. The main purpose of the fact table is used to establish the relationship between two or more dimensions that have many to many relationship. The business rule to be represented in that a supplier supplies many products and the product can be supplied by many suppliers. The fact table is used as an association table to resolve this many to many relationship. Fact table behavior. Normally the fact tables are the largest table. It occupies around 90% of the space. Appended to initially when we extract the data from the operational source, the full data will be transferred. From next time onwards, the data will be transferred on incremental basis. That means data what changed in the operational system will be extracted and will be loaded into the data warehouse. Normally it will grow quickly, hundreds or thousands or millions, depends upon the transaction occur on the daily basis. It contains detail or summaries the data. Its nature is additive, that means naturally additive and sometimes it might be semi-additive or non-additive. Joins it. Fact tables are primarily joined to dimension table through foreign key that refer the primary key in the dimension table. But there are foreign key degenerate dimensions are also there that, uh, that there is no explicit relationship for that key. That means there is no explicit uh, dimension table for that uh, uh, degenerate dimensions in the fact table. Now we are going to see the types of facts. There are three types of facts. That is additive, semi-additive and non-additive. Additive facts that can be summed up through all of the dimensions in the fact table. Semi-additive facts can be summed up through only some of the dimensions in the fact tables non-additive, non-additive are the facts that cannot be summed up. If we will see some examples of these three types of facts. If we will assume ourselves as a retailer, we are having one fact table with the following columns, date, store, product and sales amount. The main purpose of the table is to record the sales amount for each product in each store on a daily basis. Here the sales amount is the numeric one and, and it is the fact. In this case, sales amount is an additive fact because we can sum this sales sum this fact along any of the three dimensions present in the fact table that is date store and product for example the sum of sales amount for seven days in a week represent the total sales amount for that week then from this we can easily see that that uh, we can add the sales amount for all dimensions but in the case of the semi additive here we are now we assume ourselves as bank the purpose of this table is to record the balance every month and we will calculate the what are all the balances in the each and every account so we can 
current balance here is in semi additive and we can add them up for all accounts but we cannot add two current balances that that won't give any meaning at all and profit margin we cannot add at all that is a non additive so ratios and percentages are always non additive okay now we are going to see the types of fact tables according to mr kimball he he classifies the fact tables into three types the first one is periodic snapshot table and second is transaction fact other one is accumulating snapshot fact table what is periodic snapshot fact table periodic snapshot fact table is stores inventory levels or account balances at regular intervals here the inventory balances inventory levels and account balances are measured and will be placed in the table for example a periodic snapshot table might be used to track the account balances on monthly basis a snapshot of the account balance would be taken normally at the at the month end which represents the net of all withdrawal and deposit of transactions occurred during the month similarly the inventory level is the another common scenario normally if you go to retail store at the end of the month they will say uh, the we are taking the stock in hand today like that normal uh, day to day life time we we are seeing seeing the that uh, stock in hand uh, tracking the quantity on hand at the month end these are all the two things that will be captured in the periodic snapshot table what is transaction fact table business process is recorded in transaction fact table one as and when the transaction happens that means whenever we deposit any money in the atm or when we withdraw the money from the atm counter the transaction fact table will be recorded the data, data will be entered otherwise uh, there is there won't be any data in the transaction fact table accumulating snapshot fact tables are used for the processes that have the definite beginning and definite end and identifying milestones in between will come under the accumulating snapshot for example the claims processing for an insurance company that involve a predefined series of steps like claim submitted claim reviewed claim approved or rejected these tables prove useful in measuring and analyzing the duration between the steps in a complete processes and discovering the bottlenecks this is the example of the fact table business process measurements events that translated into fact tables here all the keys are captured along with the numeric content that's all we will see about the types of dimension in the next session